Cleveland Browns lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars 32-28 yesterday. Joe Hayden gave up the game-winning touchdown to Cecil Shorts. On a move that I've been making awesome. since I was nine. <laughs> yeah. It was like a high school game. It was just like, I'll run up. Oops, stop. Nope, gonna run past you. <laughs> yeah. So Joe Hayden was incredibly emotional after the game. Incredibly emotional sure. after the game. Sure. Sure. He is absolutely sick of uh, Cleveland losing, and here's the video. Don't take nothing from our D. We out there every time grinding, fighting, and it hurts every time we start losing. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm, we're tired of it, and there's nothing we can say. You're going to come with the same questions every week, and I'm going to give you the same answers. We're going to get better next week. We're going to get better next week. Until we do it, then there's nothing else to talk about. So Straight up. I feel bad for sweet. Joe. It was. Yeah. You could just tell he's on a losing team. He obviously, anybody who plays in the NFL, I assume, hates losing, but it just shows that he. He cares, you know? And that's actually he, the most important thing to me because I feel like in this day and age, people, players don't care. It's, it's all about money and getting to a team to win a championship. It kind of, uh, in every sport. Yeah. And that's really encouraging, actually, yeah, like for me. I care like that. I also, the thing I take most from that, uh, that piece of tape is that the big headphones are really, <laughs> okay, you were they're back, say something like you know? Well, Beats, Beats, by, Beats by, Dre. by Dre, yeah. 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 But those yeah, were, those were personalized. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Those were personalized for Joe Hayden. Were they? Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I, I like it when guys care. I like it when guys get mad. I like it when guys throw their helmets. Like it's, you know. Well, off the field. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, the, wait, wait. You like when guys throw their helmets, but you, field. hang on, but you don't like when coaches throw their headsets, right? I don't like when people show off by throwing their helmets. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, uh, um, yeah, that was good from Joe Hayden. It was good, I was yeah. surprised. I mean, he really, he bit on that little fake, man. I, yes, I, he did. And they gave up 32 yeah. points to the, to the Jaguars, to the which got, seems crazy. He got smoked by Antonio Brown also. Mm -hmm. um, but the problem with Joe Hayden is that he is a victim of his own success. He set such a high bar mm -hmm. by being such a shutdown corner that, uh, well, it's not just a first-round pick. He's been fantastic. He's been, great. He's been yeah. really good. And in the last couple of games, he, you, know, you know, he got beat. So uh, yeah. he's taken it personally, which is great. The other thing that I took away from this is that uh, times have changed. I mean, I don't know, like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, an athlete crying or weeping like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'd be making fun. Jason yeah. Martin changed everything. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Martin changed everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. incognito. Yeah. Wow. It's okay to be sensitive yeah. now. How about yeah, so the, that, that was yeah. interesting. How about the Jaguars? Huh? Well, first of all, you think about next year. Do if they can get a quarterback, about? even if they got to go to free agency, somehow, Cecil Shorts, and if back playing next year, Justin Blackman. Blackman those are playmakers, two of them, and uh, uh, that makes them, you know, all of a sudden, Chad you, know, not the future. you know, we had talked about whether we'd bet the Broncos in that, in the bet the Jaguars, the Broncos back when it was a 26, 27 point line, and then as we went through talking more about the Jaguars, and, uh, you know, like, they were going to win games, and now they're going to, like, win four. They're bad, but they're not that bad. Yeah. And Cecil Shorts, you know, from Cleveland, was the hugest Browns fan growing up, so oh, that just right? fun, that was, a, that was a big touchdown for him that good game. For, uh, Gus, all his friends uh, good for Gus Bradley. Yeah. Right. Really, sort of kept them together. Same thing as uh, Greg Schiano. Gus Bradley seems like a better guy. I'd rather have him over for Thanksgiving, but uh, but they've both sort of kept their teams. Did in Did you it. have him over for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I have. Yeah, oh, we that's a shame. Small By the way, Doug Marone also really. I mean, he sh he just. I like seeing people who. who, who won, you don't even know who won that game yesterday. The Bills you, lost, and and that. they yeah. lost. They, 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 they lost in away. Toronto. They, yeah. gave it away. they gave it away. And, by the way, thank you for Fred Jackson. It didn't help this week, but he had two touchdowns. Yeah. But, but just Doug Marone, Doug Marone, you could just tell he cares. He was like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I, this hurts. It's going to hurt for a little bit. We're going to come back, and we're going to try to get better. But this just stings, and it hurts. And you could see, you could see just the passion and how much he cared.